Hey everyone, this is my review of the Husqvarna 525 PT5S. This is a commercial grade pole saw. This is currently the largest pole saw that Husqvarna makes. Uh, some basic stats on it. It's powered by a 25cc engine that makes about 1.3 horsepower and with no cutting equipment it weighs about 15 and a half pounds. Uh, this engine may look familiar if you've seen some of my uh, my other videos or other Husqvarna equipment. This is the same 525 commercial series engine that they utilize on their edgers, their hedge trimmers, their weed whackers. It's a very uh, good engine. It's relatively lightweight and compact and it makes a uh, pretty good power. Yeah, it's set up very simple. Your choke is on the top, primer bulb on the bottom, your air filters on the side as well as on the back. The starter is its own isolated piece, so if you break the pull string, it's easy to change out in the field. Most of their 525 series equipment has skid plates on the bottom. With this, they put this bumper on, so if you're using it in a vertical position and it slides out of your hands, it hits the ground, this will hit the ground before the back of the engine hits the ground to help protect the unit. Also, with their other 525 series equipment, the handle is isolated from the drive shaft, so this helps quite a bit with uh, vibration dampening. It also has your momentary rocker for your stop switch, it always returns to the run position. Safety's on the top, and your throttle is on the bottom. Uh, with this, this also has this piece here to help protect your hand, and also it will help protect the throttle if. Uh, you bump into something or if something falls out of uh, a tree while you're cutting it and hits that. Uh, you have a nice rubber wrapped handle here so there's a lot of different positions available as well as this strap point is from the factory. This is stock. It also comes with this strap from the factory. Uh, it's just a real basic single point harness you can throw it over your shoulder. Uh, it does work fairly well for a basic strap. It does help take a lot of the weight off of your arms it helps put it onto your shoulder uh, large aluminum housing for the drive shaft this is the collar that you use to loosen or tighten to extend the shaft out uh, this is a single piece unit some of the units from other companies in Husqvarna as well they'll make split units where it comes apart for transportation so it's a little bit smaller this does not this is not designed to come apart for transportation it's always designed to be left intact and as one piece so that's just something to keep in mind when you're buying. I'll talk about the length of this thing in a minute. That's why I have my tape measure out. And then on the front, you have the manual adjustment for the oiler. You have your bar oil goes up here and you have obviously your bar and chainer at the front. It also comes with this uh, cover from the factory as well. Stock, it comes with a 12 inch bar. And uh, the performance on this thing is pretty good. I'll get into that in a minute, but let's talk about the length. Uh, this is, like I said, the biggest one they make. This right now is in its most compact form. This is as small as it gets. As you can see, it's between 111 and 112 inches. So it's a little bit over nine feet in its compact design. Where that becomes challenging is the transportation of this. If you obviously, if you're a landscaper and you have a trailer for this thing, it's not a big deal. But even in the back of an eight foot bed in a pickup truck, you may or may not fit if you put it in diagonally. So it is pretty big. So if you have something smaller like a car SUV, transporting this thing can be a little bit of an issue. But uh, what I'll do is I'll stop the camera now, I'll extend it all the way and readjust the tape measure and I'll show you how big it is at maximum length. All right, the saw is now out at its maximum length. So as I said before, you basically just loosen this collar and you can push it out. It is sort of spring assisted, so it's very easy to come out. You just turn it back to tighten it. So now, we are at about 158 inches. So it's just over 13 feet at that point. This is considered a 16 foot pole saw because basically if you're the average person holding this up above their head they can get usually to things about 16 feet off the ground but as you can see the unit itself is about uh, 13 at max to the to the throttle control it is just shy of about 12 feet so it's right around 12 foot at the throttle control at maximum extension um, as I stated one of the cons for this unit is it's big even when it's in its compact design since it's not designed to be 
transported it in two separate pieces. It's big. You need a large vehicle to transport this thing around. If you don't have a trailer or a big pickup truck, that can be one of the downsides to this unit. Um, that's really the only issue. It's a little bit expensive. It's around the $600 range, but again, you get what you pay for. It's good. I've used this thing a whole bunch of times. I've had no issues with it. it the performance is very good. The, the pluses for this thing, like I said, the performance, it's great. Um, as far as if you utilize it for, you know, what I utilize it for, you're cutting, you're trimming trees with it, you're cutting down vines, smaller things like that, no problem. It rips through stuff like that with no issue. Um, even though it basically is a chainsaw, you're not going to get chainsaw performance out of this thing. So if you're trying to cut something that's basically the size of the bar, if you're trying to cut something really big that's eight inches, 10 inches, it'll do it, but it's gonna take a little bit more time. So it's only 1.3 horsepower, so it's gonna cut larger things a little bit slower, but as far as small stuff, if you're just trimming off dead uh, tree limbs or uh, just cutting back vines, the thing just rips through it like they're not even there. So the performance of this thing is pretty good if you use it what it's intended for, but it will do some big stuff. I had cut some pretty big limbs, but you have to give it a minute just to get through that because it is a smaller, lighter chain, and uh, it doesn't have a, a powerful engine compared to what a chainsaw would have. So with all that being said, I really like this thing. It is great if you're like me and you have a nice big piece of property that's surrounded by trees, uh, this thing does see a fair amount of use. I like to use it to keep the vines from overtaking the trees. Anytime any dead limbs show up, I just take them out right away. So if you're using it for that, it's great. If you, obviously, if you're using, if you're a commercial uh, arborist or you're doing commercial work uh, maintaining trees, this thing's going to see quite a bit of use if you're using it in that aspect. So hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Thanks for watching.